are you? You see that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've known him for so many years. So what do we expect out of the group conference? Well, I think she'll give an update on where things stand on the ground, the humanitarian situation, and the other efforts she's engaged in. So we look very much forward to hearing it. And we need to, again, give her as much support as we can if she needs it. Can you tell us anything about these temporary plans for a port um, uh, off the coast of Gaza? I know it's there been... are lots of discussions going on uh, in a number of capitals about that, but I don't have anything new to add to that at the moment, but it's, you know, it's being discussed as an option. Well, the, the UN role and all of that is being discussed, so it's, that's ongoing, so whatever I tell you might be yesterday's news, so I don't want to do that. What about um, any feedback from council members on the U.S. draft resolution? Yes, we, we've gotten feedback, and we're taking all of their various edits and seeing what we can come up with so that we can get a text that everyone can sign on to. Because as I said before, we don't want to have a situation like we did with the Algerian resolution. Could you provide us a ballpark estimate on when that draft resolution might be voted on? No idea at this point. We hope to do it as soon as we possibly can. But again, we want to make sure that the vote's there and the support there for it and that we can get everybody to agree to it so that it can get through the council. What's Ambassador, uh, what, how does it feel? You talked about um, supporting the Sky Information. Yeah. But how do you want to deal with when the Israelis are cutting the percentage of aid? I mean, we heard yesterday from um, UN officials who said that the number of percentage of cuts that were allowed is actually last month is 50% less than January. So how do you want to put more pressure on your Israeli allies to allow more cuts? We are doing just that. We are talking to the Israelis constantly about the need to scale up the deliveries of humanitarian assistance and they need to open as many crossings as possible. So this is something we're fully engaged in as our other council members. So uh, that conversation is ongoing and we'll continue to do that uh, because the scaling up of assistance is, is desperate and we need to do that. But, but what, which practical pressure you want to put in the, the, uh, on the Israelis? Because you have been talking to the Israelis for the last five six months it seems to me that things are going not well, forwards, but are, backwards. They're not just hearing it from us, they're hearing it from other countries, and, so, and from friendly countries as well. So uh, it, it's, a, you know, it's an effort that we're all undertaking to try to convince Israel of the need to do this. I think they understand that, and so uh, we're going to continue to uh, work with them and make sure that we can scale up this assistance, this assistance because it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, it is needed. Ambassador, but is the Palestinians' family that came here, they were here yesterday, they say that every hour, every hour counts. So about the resolution, you say that you're working on it, you're trying to speed up, but can you actually be, you know, in this speed, can it actually be accelerated? We are working hard, we are accelerating, we're doing what we can, but again, we don't want to see that resolution fail. That would be the worst thing. So what we've got to do is work hard and get a language everyone can agree to so that we can get a resolution through the council that will help facilitate what we're trying to do. And remember, we're still working very hard with regard to these negotiations to try to get the hostages out and a pause to the fighting. And so that is a primary effort as well. You watching uh, the State of the Union or on Netflix? No, I want to see it tonight. I don't know if I'll get I have a dinner, so I'm hoping to maybe leave a little early. <laughs> Thank you. Mike. Thanks, everybody. See you later.